Hello everyone, my name is Cesar Antonio and I'm a technical consulting engineer from TAC Data Center Routing and Switching Team. Today we will cover PRF leaking on a Nexus device. The purpose of this video is to understand how to configure and verify the leaking on PRFs. This video will cover the following leaking scenarios. Default BRF to BRF, BRF to BRF, and from BRF to the default BRF. The information in this video was created from the devices in a specific lab environment. If your network is live, ensure that you understand the potential impact of any command. Default BRF to BRF. In this case, Nexus has received two routes in its default BRF via EIGRP. The configuration leaks the routes in the BRF blue. For the purpose of this example, only the route 192.168.1.0/24 is leaked. Redistribute the routes which exist in the default BRF routing table in BGP. Since the routes are in the default BRF, the redistribute command in BGP goes under the global address family IPv4 unicast section. Upon redistributing the routes into BGP, verify their presence through BGP within the default BRF. The import BRF default command is configured in the destination BRF. The command line requires a route map as a parameter in order to explicitly define the route to be imported in the destination BRF, which in this case is the BRF name blue. You can confirm in the destination BRF that the routes are now seen via BGP. Verify on the routing table of BRF blue. BRF to BRF. In this case, Nexus has received two routes in its BRF red via EIGRP. The configuration leaks the routes in BRF blue. Redistribute the routes which exist in the BRF red routing table in BGP. Since the routes are in the BRF red, the redistribute command in BGP goes under the BRF red address family IPv4 unicast section. Upon redistributing the routes into BGP, we can verify their visibility via BGP within the BRF red. In order to leak between BRFs, the use of route targets is required. The origin BRF exports a route target value. The destination BRF imports the same route target value. Verify their visibility via BGP BRF red. You can confirm in the destination BRF that the routes are now seen via BGP. These BGP routes in the BRF can now be redistributed in any other routing protocol that runs in the same BRF. You can optionally use the export map command under the origin BRF in order to assign route targets to a specific routes to be exported. Use the setX community RT parameter in the roadmap in order to assign the road target. In this example, only network 192.168.1.0/24 is exported with road target 1 to 1, which is later imported in BRF blue. The result is that only the specified network is leaked. BRF to default BRF. Nexus has received two routes in its BRF called RED via EIGRP. The configuration leaks the routes in the default BRF. For the purpose of this example, only the route 192.168.210.0/24 is leaked. Redistribute the routes which exist in BRF RED routing table in BGP. Since the routes are in the BRF red, the redistribute command in BGP goes under the BRF red address family IPv4 unicast section. After redistribute the routes into BGP, 
we can confirm that now are seen via BGP on the BRF ref. The export BRF default command is configured in the origin BRF. The command line requires a roadmap as a parameter in order to explicitly define the routes to be exported in the default BRF. Confirm in the default BRF that the routes are now seen via BGP. These BGP routes in the default BRF can now be redistributed in any other routing protocol that also runs in the default BRF. There are four phases in the BRF route leak process. Verification can be done in order. These verification phases provide a systematic approach to checking the progress of route leaking between BRFs in a network. By following this sequence, you can isolate issues at each step and identify where the route leak process may be encountering problems. In the first phase, you start by looking at the routing table of the origin BRF. The origin BRF is in the BRF from which you are leaking routes. Check if the desired routes are present in this BRF routing table. The second phase involves examining the BGP table of the origin BRF. You verify that the routes you intend to leak are present in the BGP table of the origin BRF. Moving to the destination BRF, in the third phase, you check the BGP table of the destination BRF. Ensure that the routes are intended for leaking from the origin BRF are indeed present in the BGP table of the destination BRF. Finally, in the fourth phase, you examine the routing table of the destination BRF. Confirm that the leak routes have made their way into the routing table of the destination BRF. This is the ultimate verification step to ensure that the road leak process has been successful and the destination BRF is now aware and able to use the leak routes. In order to check the routes are correctly in the routing table, the command is show IP route BRF BRF name. Notice that the second command can be used interchangeably in order to show IPv4 unicast addresses in the BGP table. In order to check the routes are correctly in the BGP table, the commands are show BGP IPv4 unicast BRF BRF name, show IP BGP BRF BRF name. I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching.